What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Lock Combo, man, and today I'm back with another video, man. Now, as y'all know, bro, I done turned into a demigod inside of the NTO 1v1 course, bro. Hey, but look, check this out, man. Before we get deep into this video, man, please be sure to drop a like down below on this video right now. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. If you already been here, please be sure to turn on post notification bell. Now, this is what I'm finna start doing for all the, the true supporters that be down in the comment section, bro. If you watching this video right now, bro, comment. Always, always, bro, be the first person to comment down below, bro. And I will give you a shout out in my, in my next YouTube video. So, so... If you be the first person to comment down below on this video, bro, you will have a uh, shout out in my uh, my up and coming YouTube video, which probably will be dropping probably tomorrow or the next day after. So comment down below and I will give you a shout out. But you have to be the first and the second person to comment down below. Now, let's get into this banger, bro. Now, as you can see, bro, as y'all can see, bro, my people all my people bro who's doing this video right now bro as y'all can see i am on my glass cleaning lockdown power four six eleven build hall of fame slash hall of fame defense and of course i'm going against one of the best post scores inside of the ante up on xbox one bro i'm going up against the one of the best post scores bro and e server bro right now now this ain't your every average post score this guy has hall of fame defense and hall of fame finishing so just imagine what I had to go through this whole damn game, bro. Dealing with this man with these post hooks and just, you feel me? Just going up like close shots. Like this is crazy. Just abusing me in the paint. Just imagine what I got to go through, bro. This man is like, like, he's a paint beast. He's not an interior force, interior finisher. He's a paint beast with post score and takeover. But he has Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame defense. Now I'm not here to bash this man out one bit <clears throat> because I am on the 1v1's court with a slasher, which is another OP build. But uh, on the other hand, this guy is so toxic, bro. This is this is the only dude, one of the only dudes that I see that goes crazy this year in NBA 2K20. On the one one of course, the Andy up. This every time I go inside Andy up and East server, bro, I always see this guy on the street, bro. So big shout outs to this dude, bro. This dude is a really decent post scorer. I don't even know if you can give those type of dudes uh props, but uh he's pretty decent for what he does. So I, I can't really throw him up under the bus. So shout out to uh this guy who's on the screen. He's pretty decent. But you know, the boy gotta take an L, man. The score right now is two to twelve, and he's getting his ass delivered to him. Now this ain't no easy game, bro. As y'all can see, I'm shooting sixty percent from the field goal. So which means that means I'm not shooting one hundred percent. All the shots that I went up against this man, they, they didn't fall for me. So I, it's gonna be a, look. He got post scoring takeover, but luckily, I got Hall of Fame. Uh, I mean, I got uh, Rip Protector takeover. He got post scoring takeover, but I mean. 
he still can get whatever he want. Basically, bro, all he gotta do is po- uh, post a uh, deep hook me, and he got it just about every time. But just as you can see on the screen, I gotta stop on him, and that might just be it. He might not be able to do nothing else about it, honestly. As y'all can see on the screen, that was a contact dunk, but he jumped out of the animation. But it, it, it was a contact dunk. As you, you can just tell by the movement of my character and his character, it was a contact dunk, but he jumped out of it. At this time, bro, I want to thank everybody who, who's at this point. If you still right here watching this video, bro, I want to I wanna thank y'all, bro. Thank y'all for staying this long to the video. Now, please, do not leave just yet. Stay to the end of the video because I really want y'all to see that this build is overpowered. I want to let y'all, I want y'all to see that. Hey, bro, we, I'm going, I go crazy on the one court with this build against any build. I don't care. I don't care who step on the court. I go crazy. As y'all can see, he still has post scoring takeover, bro. Like this man, like this man that had post scoring takeover for like an hour now or either I'm tripping, bro. And he's still like, he's not scoring on me, bro. But this man, he, he's not bad, bro. He's not a bad post scorer, but this man has like a, I think like an 80, a high 80 somewhere percent, like an 85. Or 83, maybe an 83 win percent, bro. That's a pretty solid win percent to be like on the weapon ones court, bro. Because you got plenty more other post scores slash you got other more toxic builds pulling up on you back to back. So like, you really don't have the time to like play against like people that's similar to you. Playing always playing against people that's gonna be better than you, and there's always competition inside uh inside the uh the ante up 1v1 but yeah man as y'all can see the score right now is 6 to 18 bro i'm trying my best to score on this man but this man is too damn big this dude is like dude, he's he got it he got a fucking uh uh shaquille o'neal face game but this nigga he looks really he really got the he got the face game and he got uh shaquille o'neal build bro this and it's real toxic bro i can't really score on this build but I'm I'm winning, so I guess that's something to be proud about. I'm winning, I guess. But and I'm getting stops on him. He's a, a post scorer. Like just imagine how like crazy that is. And shout out to 2K for putting like for the for the elite ones. Like you able to get the takeover booster, bro. Like it's crazy. It's wild. Like getting a takeover booster, bro. It's, it it helps you in so many ways, bro. Like so. That's a good part, good thing about being elite one or elite period, bro. If you have a takeover booster, bro, I know for a fact that y'all like it, bro. It's real. It's a real good um, personal. I think it's a personal badge. I think it is, but it's real good uh, in terms, like especially for for me being a rim protector. I, it's easy for me to get it uh, takeover or team takeover real easy. Because, like bigs. Like they just go up some, like you can by you being a lockdown or having a repetitive to take over, you can get uh takeover from uh like getting shocker tests and stuff like that, getting steals, uh blocks, good shocker tests all around, like and your takeover is just gonna shoot up like sky high, bro. You able to get it real fast. So as you can see, he got post going takeover again, and I got rim takeover again, and it's finna get real toxic, but. I got he got 12 points and I got 20 points, bro. This is where the mistake is made for all of my opponents, bro. They don't think I can shoot, bro. Like it don't I don't care how close of a game it is, bro. I always can shoot at any given moment, bro. So why play me back? They don't know this, but it's a good thing. That's a good thing. They don't know that I can shoot with a glass clean and lot now. They think I'm just a pure slasher or something like that. But in reality, I can slash, play defense. And I can shoot mid range. Don't say I didn't tell y'all that this build is one of the best power forward builds that's currently out right now. Cause I told y'all, bro. Like it's a it's a real versatile build, bro. But yeah, man, that's all for today's video. Give me a good channel. Subscribe. Turn on post notification bell.